it's been eight hours since we have this fish and I just changed it changed her water so now she has a fresh water from the bay and I'm gonna go there and try to maybe find her some food maybe there is something she would agree to eat do you think she might care to eat some of this hermit crab okay I retrieved this uh, hermit crab so let's see if she would be interested to eat it. Would you care for some crab? Maybe I'll take a smaller piece of the crab, yeah? <laughs> crab was not happy. Let's offer her a smaller piece of the crab. Oh, she's diving. She's diving. Good job. Good job. She's diving. She probably sees some food. Okay, let's try again. We need to eat something if it comes from like from the bottom. Would you be interested to eat this? Hmm, any interest in eating? Some interest in eating? Yes, she's somewhat like eating. And She's eating. <gasps> She's trying to eat. Here is our buffer fish having an evening walk. Okay, I'm taking our puffer fish for a walk there in the evening. It is still pretty weak, but it can dive a little bit. It was diving. So I put her here, you know, in the in the water, and it can feel better. So what eventually happened that I wanted to leave fish uh, outside as long as possible. And at one moment, my son called me back to the house and I was away maybe for three minutes, but that was enough time for the puffer fish to escape. When I came back, this um, bucket was tilted. Uh, maybe there was some tide. Maybe there was a force of the puffer fish who wanted to escape. Or maybe the aggressive catfishes came uh, for her but uh, regardless of the cause when i came back the puffer fish was gone and it was already pretty dark so i was not able to see it after that let's hope for the best and let's hope that this fish survived also a few days later some information came on what was the possible cause of those multiple fishes washed on the shore dead so the commercial divers in the area they uh, noted a 60 degree change in the water temperature due to so-called upvelling so this is when wind pushes the water on the surface away from the shore and cold water from the deep ocean comes up so 60 degree change in temperature is of course very significant for tropical fish and a uh, diver said that this change in temperature stun a lot of fish and they also observed that 90 percent of the dead fish they were bermuda chub and puffers and those kinds of fishes are particularly susceptible to rapid temperature changes.